Hello boys, good morning, welcome to our class and hope all of you are well and you are as you are always in our brain, uh, we just um, wish for your better um, study, for your better life and I think you just feel the same for us also because uh, you are your teacher to motivate you, to guide you and so you just have same same, same respect uh, for us and hope that you will be also keep praying for us always boys we were continuing with current electricity and in last class we had discussion on circuit and equivalent resistance and i just gave you a homework related to equivalent resistance and some of you guys have um, uh, made an attempt to solve the circuit I appreciate it and I'm thankful to you for your trial but uh, um, I'm sorry to say that uh, most of the students have made mis uh, mistakes in uh, simplifying the circuit or in determining the equivalent resistance of the circuit so uh, in today's class I just want to show you the uh, result or the uh, procedure on which we can uh, calculate the equivalent circuit of uh, uh, or the equivalent resistance of a circuit our given circuit was uh, there was uh, seven resistors used in my given circuit if you have the circuit uh, in front of you just try to make um, practice with me and this was our circuit and the resistors value was 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the potential is not given over here and this is also not needed here because we are not measuring current we are just calculating uh, the equivalent resistors if we want to denote uh, these resistors or give some name of this, this is R1, R2, uh, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7. For just uh, the convenient of uh, in, in our understanding or in our calculation, we are denoting this as some uh, with some uh, symbols uh, for our um, convenient in calculation we are just denoting as r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 and r7 now we are going to uh, simplify this circuit uh, first of all, uh, first of all if you just uh, look at the circuit and I have told you that we will just start calculating from any one end of the circuit so uh, if you just look over here uh, r1 and r2 this is uh, that means after the uh, finishing of r1 then uh, initial point of r2 is starting over here that means r1 and r2 are in series combination r connected R2 is connected R1 is strong. So, we have to do the R1 R2 is the R1 R2 the R1 R2 is R1 R2 is the R1 R2 R2 is the R1 R2 is the R1 R2 is R2 is R2 is R2 is the 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 R2 R1 R2 series are to Tarpuri Borte, umbra equivalent resistance R1 to Hishabil the R1 plus R2, we can write it as R1 plus R2. Then R1 is equals uh, 2 ohm and R2 is also 2 ohm. Then we get over here uh, uh, 4 ohm. Okay. Uh, in our circuit the given value was 3 ohm sorry then 2 plus 3 is equals 5 ohm okay uh, so we have got the equivalent resistance for r1 and r2 is 5 ohm so 
instead of using r1 and r2 we can write over here 5 ohm and if you just look at this resistor r3 uh, this is just connected to the end of uh, r1 and r2 and now we are combining r1 r2 as a single resistor so uh, 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 jodi r3 follow koro then r3 r1 r2 that means r1 r2 g equivalent pelam 5 ohm tar ek prante r1 r3 equivalent resistance tar upper prante or that e bhabe asche then we can say that uh, r ekhon amra pelam r12 uh, that is, is equals uh, 5 ohm and r3 r3 the value of r3 is, uh, is 4 ohm not 5 ohm these two twos are in parallel and the rest of the circuit is just like this one and at this point if you just look over here at this point uh, for the resistance r5 r6 and r7 these three for these three resistors the starting point is same for all these three resistors. Eight inter resistor starting point same. So if we have eight inter resistor ke, uh, draw cut the parish you to the starting point of same. Our follow kuri, the ending point of these three resistors are also same. So ending point guloke at the point he should be leak the pari. Draw cut the pari. Uh, then um the circuit on the they can actually 6, 7, 8. So, 8 interresistor, we can easily say that they are connected in parallel. So, instead of uh, their parallel combination, we can want a single equivalent resistor here. Uh, there was two resistor, 5 ohm and 4 ohm. Here is another resistor, is 5 ohm. And instead of using this two, we can use uh, equivalent resistance. What is the value of equivalent resistance? Uh, now R5, R6 and R7 are in parallel. So uh, if we there assume that their equivalent is R5, uh, 6, 7 for it example you can denote is in at anything rp you can denote is it as rp also i'm just writing it as r567 so this will be uh, the value of r5 plus r6 plus r7 so uh, for r567 is equals the reciprocal of this term what is the value of r5 r5 is equals 6 ohm plus r6 is equals 7 ohm plus r7 is equals 8 ohm inverse 1 so uh, after calculating these values you will get the equivalent resistance is 2.30 ohm so as we have, have got the equivalent resistance here 2.30 ohm now another work is just uh, we have to finish over here these two resistors that means 5 ohm we have got 5 ohm by combining 2 ohm and 3 ohm as these are connected in series 5 ohm and 4 ohm these are connected in parallel so uh, as these uh, two resistors uh, 5 ohm was denoted by r12 and 4 ohm uh, we just denoted it as r3 so r12 and r3 are in parallel so we can write here uh, the equivalent of r12 and r3 as rp dash we are just denoting as e r12 plus r1 uh, divided by r13 here equal, equal sign and rp dash will equal to 1 by r12 the value of r12 is 5 ohm and value of r3 is 4 ohm inverse 1 and so 
R P dash is equals will be uh, you can uh, write it as uh, 2.2 ohm here this one was 2.3 ohm and this will be 2.2 ohm so now after this step if we simplify the circuit again using uh, by combining these two parallel resistors we are getting the value over here is 2.2 ohm next one is 5 ohm and the third one is 2.3 ohm, ohm then now this is just a simple circuit consisting of three simple resistors connected in series so what will be the total resistance of the circuit uh, that means rt is equals we will just add all those resistors over here 5 ohm plus 2.30 ohm and finally we will get the equivalent resistance is 9.52 ohm so we will just follow step by step first of all uh, we are calculating the circuit over here first two resistors are in series that's why we have combined both uh, combined the both and got the resistance 5 ohm and with this 5 ohm resistance 4 ohm resistance is in parallel then 5 ohm in is in series and the uh, three uh, left left three resistors are connected in parallel so we are uh, calculating over here uh, we are making uh, equivalent resistance for these three resistors and we got this as 2.30 ohm then uh, these two resistors are also in parallel so uh, combining their parallel combination we got the equivalent resistance is 2.2 ohm and then finally three resistors are in series so we can uh, say it as the total resistance is uh, 9.52 ohm so guys uh, i want to repeat again that uh, whoever have uh, made attempt uh, in doing this circuit uh, uh, though you haven't um, been able to finish the uh, simplifying or simplification but you have made attempt and that's why i appreciate you and uh, all of you guys uh, those who, um, who are just submitting their homework we are just uh, making list of those homework so uh, you just keep continuing your work and uh, try to submit the homework whenever it is given for you uh, in our next class we will discuss about electric power and uh, what is meant by power how can we calculate uh, electrical um, uh, total energy for a system for, for a, a house for a uh, industry total electrical energy spent that can be calculated uh, using a, a simple law we will just try to have a, a look on those topic and um, hope that you will join the class and after finishing this chapter we will try to have a, a class on zoom platform on zoom and I will uh, definitely uh, I will try to have some feedback from you I will demand some feedback from you uh, so that get prepared for that class and just uh, keep concentration on your study so guys thanks to all for joining the class uh, see you again thank you